Hello everybody, my name is Star Wars Boy, how are you? And welcome back to the channel for a brand new Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. In this video, we continue the reinforcement guide series with our reinforcement guide on the commando droids. Before I start the video, I just want to let you guys know that only a small percentage of viewers are actually subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. It's completely free and it helps out the channel. Anyways, let's get started. Taking a look at their base stats, they have a base health of 350, which is on par with most reinforcements in the game. Their health regeneration is of course 350, meaning you can get all the way down to 1 HP and still heal all your health. Their weapon of choice is of course their E5 blaster, which they are shown to use throughout the Clone Wars. The damage per hit is 30 with a DPS of 120. As for the range, there is actually no drop off damage for this weapon, which is pretty good. The overheat is 25 shots. Taking a look at their abilities, their first L1 ability is called Smoke Screen and it has a 30 second cooldown. The Clone Commando instantly deploys a thick smoke screen on your position, preventing enemies from seeing you. Now the duration of this ability is 7 seconds. As for the pros, it does obscure enemy vision quite a bit, pairing this with the wall hacks that the commando droid has are actually pretty good. As for the cons, it does have a really long cooldown, 30 seconds is ridiculous for smoke. Another con I should mention is that you actually can't aim this smoke, it just naturally throws it at your feet. So you can't throw it in a specific position, it actually throws it on your location. Other than that, this ability is pretty average. It won't hurt to use, but it definitely won't change the course of your gameplay. Their R1 ability, which is by far their best ability, is called Sinister Strikes. The commando droid perform a chain of swift strikes with the Vibro Sword, performing a powerful knockback on the third and final swing. The damage output is 67 to 87. As for the pros, it does an additional 20 damage when you hit enemies to the back. The final swing knocks down enemies and has a really fast recharge. Another thing I should mention is that the commando droids do lunge pretty far while using this ability, so that's another good thing. Uh, if you didn't watch my tips and tricks video, then you won't know about this. However, the commando droids can actually travel really fast while using this ability. If they simply dodge and use this ability and perform that repeatedly and do it really well, then they can go really fast and cover large amounts of ground. Other than that, this ability is pretty much perfect. There's not anything I would change and it surprises me that this is a reinforcement ability. Their final middle ability is called Thermal Vision and has a 30 second cooldown. This ability essentially gives the commando droids wall hacks and the duration is 5 seconds. As for the pros, it does scramble radars which is honestly really helpful all the time. It does give you wall hacks, in case you don't know what those are, it basically lets you see through walls and see enemy outlines. It also has a really good area of effect, sometimes when I'm playing the second phase of Capital Supremacy and using these guys, I can see enemies from across and in different hallways, so this ability is amazing. As for the cons, it does have a long cooldown, 30 seconds is reasonable, however it is still pretty long when playing. Moving on to their star cards, and the first card I actually recommend is called Acquisition. Enemies dealing damage to you will be temporarily marked for an easier retaliation. The seconds mark goes from 16 seconds to 22 seconds with a maxed out star card. I personally recommend this card all the time when playing as these guys and other infiltrators as well. It's really good knowing who's shooting you and where because sometimes the map is really big and you will just not know who is shooting you and how far they are shooting you from. So this card is going to be really helpful for that. The next card I recommend is called Interrogation. This card reveals nearby enemies locations by defeating an opponent using melee strikes. The distance revealed enemies goes from 16 meters to 22 meters with a maxed out star card. This card is really good with the commando droids mainly because they have that amazing vibro sword ability and it's really easy to get melees. I think most of the time when I'm playing as commando droids I end up getting melee kills and not blaster kills. So this card really helps. 
The final card I'm going to recommend is called Desperation. This card reduces ability of recharge times when damage is dealt to you from 11 seconds to 14 seconds with a maxed out star card. This card is an easy pick. Everyone that plays this game is going to be taking damage. And not only that, but the commando droids do have two abilities that have a really long recharge time. So being able to lower those will really help you. Now moving on to some facts about the commando droids, there's one in-game fact that I just had to mention, and it's that the commando droids were actually the first reinforcement added to the game after launch. And the fact is that they were actually added in February of 2019, which is absolutely ridiculous. These guys and the ARC troopers were the first reinforcements we saw added to the game since launch, and that is crazy. We saw a lot of reinforcements added after that, but remember, it wasn't until 2019 until we got brand new reinforcements. The Commando Droids actually have not made an appearance in live action because their debut was in the Clone Wars TV show. They were a massive foil to the Republic's plans and did a lot against the Jedi as they did fight with those vibroblades. They were insane to watch in combat and we even saw a bit of them in Season 7 of the Clone Wars. Now the Vibroblade was a really powerful weapon which was heavily used in the days of the Republic. They were used not only by commando droids but also by clone commandos. Jango Fett also had a bunch of Vibroblades in his gauntlet. These Vibroblades were really powerful and they could cut through the plastoid armor of clone troopers and stormtroopers. So that is going to be it for this reinforcement guide guys, we have a bunch of more videos coming out in the coming weeks, along with an Avisian gunner guide coming out tomorrow. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, thank you guys so much for helping us hit 600 subscribers, we recently hit it a couple days ago and it means a lot, so thank you guys so much. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, see you guys next time, bye and may the force be with you always.